How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Lenovo Legion R 9000P laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 5 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place your laptop face down. Use a PH0 type screwdriver to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, a total of 10. Note that the four screws on the bottom are different from the others and should be placed separately. It is recommended to use a magnetic pad to avoid confusion or losing the screws. Use a pry bar and a triangular pry piece to slide open the clips and open the back cover. After opening the cover, use two pry bars to disconnect the power cables. Hold the sides of the connector with the pry bar and push outward to disconnect. After disconnecting the power, remember to hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use a PH0 type screwdriver to remove the left and right heatsink, each with three screws, and place them on a magnetic pad. Then, disconnect the fan power cable, use the pry bar to push on both sides of the connector to remove it. Repeat this process on both sides. Use a PH0 type screwdriver to loosen the 10 screws on the fan and heatsink in a diagonal pattern. Only the four screws on both sides of the two fans need to be removed. Loosen the six screws on the middle heatsink. When removing screws, choose a high quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo E01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Next, clean the dried thermal paste on the CPU and GPU. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. In addition to the heat sink, we also use thermal paste cleaning wipes to clean the dried thermal paste on the motherboard. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use a PH Type 0 screwdriver to remove the 5 small screws on the fan, a total of 10 for both fans. Then, slightly peel off the adhesive tape to fully open the fan. Use an anti-static brush to remove dust from the surface and fan blades, and compressed air to clean the details, significantly improving dust removal efficiency. Use compressed air from a short distance to prevent liquid spraying out. After cleaning the heatsink and fan, use a PH00 type screwdriver to tighten the screws on both sides. After cleaning the fan, don't forget to clean the back panel and motherboard, as these areas are prone to get dusty. Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold with 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. 
After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Then, reassemble the heat sink, power cables and back panel. First, reinstall the heat sink, screwing in the outer four screws first, and then tighten the remaining screws in a diagonal pattern to prevent uneven force. It is recommended to tighten the six screws on the heat sink to 70% first, then tighten them all to avoid excessive force. Plug in the fan power cable. Reinstall the heat sink. And finally, install the power cable. You can first check if the fans are working properly, then cover the back panel. Install the 10 screws on the back cover. And it's done! Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.